What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. The other day, I did tell you guys to drop questions on a tweet that I tweeted saying drop questions for QA video, and I got a good amount of questions, and I'm going to answer them all right now. The first one comes from DJ Yuckas underscore asking, What's your favorite sneaker and why? My favorite sneaker, I would have to say, that's a hard one to answer because there's so many sneakers out there, but I would have to go out of what I own, and I would say the Adidas EGT 9317. Just because those are the most, I feel like those are the most comfortable shoes out there right now. They have straight up boost, the boost is super soft, and I don't think any other shoe tops the comfort of that one. Now, if we're talking about hype wise, my favorite shoe I would have to say is probably an NMD Human Race, the friends and family one, the burgundy one, or the NMD Nice Kicks. Next question comes from HBDZ Playa 404. Will you ever sell all Yeezys for retail? Next question comes from G4M3R566, or his name is Voodoo Kicks. And he asked, son, what do you do for a living? This is what I do for a living. And I also cut hair on the side. If you guys watch my vlog channel, you guys will know that I cut hair. I cut my own hair. I cut other people's hair, of course, out of my garage. And I plan to make that a way bigger business when I go away to FSU because I feel like the need for barbers up there are a lot higher since they are very limited on who can cut hair over there and who can't unless there's a bunch of people just cutting out their dorm next question comes from jbnungare24 or junior barbosa if you could trade your srt4 for any car what car would it be i would never trade my srt4 that's my baby so if i ever die i plan to be buried in that car with the car under the ground Next question comes from the Lonious underscore 21 or the Lonious Rally. He asked, what got you into sneakers? Honestly, that's a, that's a good question. I've always had like a thing for sneakers, but it wasn't the passion that I have for it now. As a kid, I always wanted Nike Air Forces and there was a time when my mom bought me a pair and then her best friend bought me a pair. My mom bought me the all white ones and then her friend bought me like the red and white ones and i felt so fresh when i had those shoes i'm not gonna lie but now i completely hate air force ones they're ugly as hell i kind of like the high top ones i'm not gonna lie but i don't know i guess it's just the people i grew up around with they always been around sneakers i had a passion for them back then then i kind of i always wanted jordans but i never had the top of the line jordans i never had like the retros i guess you can call them i always had like jordans that you can find on shelves right now i guess i always had a passion for sneakers i always liked them I feel like they represent who you are. Like you can just tell the kind of personality that a person has by their shoes, especially by the way they keep them clean or if they're dirty. Just, there's a bunch of things that can, a sneaker can say about somebody. And then eventually I started getting into them more and more because I went to like kind of a ghetto middle school. So they kind of got me more into the sneakers because I always like saw all the people over there using them. And then I was, I kind, of, I kind of just grew on me, I guess. And then eventually I got into reselling and then I started liking reselling and that's when I started getting hype shoes and then the hype shoes got me into the more hype shoes and I started getting Yeezys and then now I'm at where I'm at now. I just, like I said, it grew on me and then eventually it became a passion for me. The next question comes from Soul Kids TV. They asked, or he asked, when did you start collecting sneakers and what is your favorite pair? Well, I already answered what my favorite pair of sneakers are. But when I started collecting, I think it was at the end of my eighth grade. And then ever since then, I started collecting more and more, but it wasn't really like too much. I would buy a shoe like once a year, I think. It was pretty bad. Next question comes from, again, Thelonious underscore 21, Thelonious Rally. How do you usually cop your shoes, retail, resell, or good plugs? For the most part, I don't pay resell for shoes. So I guess you can say all my shoes are retail. The only shoes I ever paid resale for are the top, well, those two, all three Yeezys actually, except I sold a pair for that one and then I bought the Pirate Blacks. And then these two I paid good money for, unfortunately. But whatever, I'm glad I have them now and they're worth a lot more than what I paid for them. Other than that, I get all my shoes for retail. I usually get lucky on the Foot Sites app, such as Foot Action, Foot Locker, and Champs. Every once in a while, I'll walk into those stores and I'll find a shoe that restock out of nowhere and I'll buy them. Or I'll get lucky online sometimes to the Adidas website or I'll get lucky on restocks. Next question comes from JJ Menez underscore junior or Giovanni Jimenez. If you had to put a price on the bait mask you made, how much would it be? And that's the base mask he's talking about guys. Honestly, I don't think 
it's priceless i would not sell that just because that's it took me a long time to make a really really long time to make that actually and i put a lot of thought into it so that's just my personal pair i don't think i would ever put a price on that mask you can give me probably a million dollars maybe i'll take it then that's a lot of money and that's the first one i ever made so that just has a lot of meaning to me even though it isn't the best mask ever it's still i would that would not leave my collection next question comes from young red man 650 or rammy red man he asked 21 or kodak next question up comes from george underscore daniel 10 or jr he asked what camera do you use to record and what program do you edit with? I use a Canon EOS Rebel T6i and I edit with Final Cut Pro 10. And there goes my alarm to go to class. My boy Shuby91 asks a two part question. What inspired you to create YouTube videos? And on a rough day, what motivates you to keep going? To the first question, what inspired you to create YouTube? Kais Omar did. Honestly, he's a big influence on what I do right now. And that's why you guys see kind of like, you guys kind of, I guess, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I'm sorry, I'm starting to get a little hot. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but my channel kind of resembles his in a way because I used to watch him so much. Well, I still do. And that's where I don't, that's not where I get my ideas from. It's just where I get my, I guess, my creativity from. Like the way the channel flows is kind of the way his goes. He's always a big inspiration of mine. I just, I, I've always been into sneakers and I never really used to watch YouTube like I do now. And one day I would just go on YouTube and I would see his face everywhere. I'm like, yo, who is this guy? So I kept on watching him and watching him. And honestly, his content is really good. So it inspired me to actually make a YouTube channel. At first I didn't really like, not I can't say I didn't like him. I just didn't like his channel. It wasn't, I don't know. I just didn't like his channel at first. But then it eventually he became an inspiration of mine. So that's crazy how things change like that. And also I love sneakers and I love talking about them. So I figured why not just talk to the camera and then put it on YouTube and just see what comes out of that, which I absolutely love doing. I absolutely love talking. Basically, it's like, it's like interacting with you guys, but I don't get the direct feedback. I have to wait for you guys to comment and stuff like that. On to the next question where he asks, what motivates you to keep going on a rough day? Honestly, it's, it's the goal. The goal where I want to be is, it's not where I want to be right now. Like I always have a goal. And every time I set that goal, I got to set another one. Like I told you guys, when I set 10,000 subscribers, my next goal after that is 50,000 subscribers. And it's just going to keep going on and on and on until I get to where I want to be. But subscriber wise, there is no goal. The goal just goes on infinitely up to whatever amount of users are on, on YouTube. But even then, new people are on YouTube every single day. So there really is no limit to that goal. And also lately, you guys have been like motivating me with like the positive comments and just the things you guys have been saying. It motivates me to keep going and putting out content for the channel, which is why I feel bad sometimes when I miss videos because I feel like you guys deserve to watch those videos. And also I try not to let the negative things affect my day. I always try to think about the positive and I feel like everybody should be that way. That's why when I see hateful comments, I'm like, what's the point? Like today I had a comment this morning, some guy was like, get this whatever kid off my recommended. And I'm like, he really took his time to click on my video and comment that like it just shows the kind of person you are next question comes from u i r a care or tayuri care i don't really know how to say your name i'm sorry for that but he asked nike or adidas and this is a hard one because i've always been a believer of originals i guess you can call them and if it wasn't for nike i don't think adidas would be popping right now because i feel like nike did start the shoe game or jordan brand whatever i just feel like there wouldn't really be a shoe game without Nike. So in that aspect, I would say Nike, but in today's day, I would say Adidas because they are popping, they're killing the game right now with everything they're doing, all their newest innovations and stuff. I feel like they're 10 steps ahead of Adidas. And if you look at their stocks, Adidas is killing it. They're just, their stocks are going just straight up the roof while Nike's is just fluctuating. Next question comes from the Cho 07 or Tyler Cho. He said, what sites are the cause releasing on? To be honest, I think just Nike. I don't even know if they're releasing them. I don't know. I don't follow cause like that or those shoes. I usually just, the reason, the only shoes that I really go for are the shoes that are easily tangible, I guess you can say. Just like shoes I can get on the apps or shoes that I can go in the store real quick and throw a raffle and that's it. I don't really, nowadays I don't really go out of my way to get shoes because I feel like in the future, I will eventually, I'm gonna have to pay resale for the shoes that I want now 
but I don't mind waiting. I'd rather just get the shoes that I can while I can, and as a future if I can get them, then I'll get them. Next question comes from Caesar Sandiford. He asks, what's your goal in life? That's a hard, that's not a hard one, but it's a deep one. Basically to make a name out of myself and have that to always be remembered. Like I want to actually, other than YouTube, I want YouTube to open up more opportunities for me. And that's basically what I'm doing with these masks. And today I just came up with another good idea, which I'm not gonna share with you guys just yet, but I feel like I can make something out of that as well. And also I want to, I'm, I'm a very business minded person. Like my background, my family, for the most part, a lot of them own businesses. So that's the reason that I am such, uh, that, that's the reason I'm such business minded. Like I have such an entrepreneur mind. I guess you can say money is, it's not, money doesn't buy happiness, but money is a motivation and nobody can lie about that because money, unfortunately, it's what runs the world. In simpler terms, I guess you can say, I would like to own a bunch of businesses I would love to own my own sneaker company, just like Nike or Adidas, and even eventually surpass them because I'm always thinking about being on top. But you always gotta remember there's always somebody ahead of you trying to be better than you, so you gotta always be better than them, if you guys know what I'm saying. So I guess to summarize everything I'm trying to say, my goal in life is to be the best person that I can be. And no, I don't mean that in a selfish manner. Next questions come from Nilsson Ayala7, or Nilsson Ayala. He asks, what were your first sneakers and who gave them or how you got them? Well, I want to say the first sneakers that got me in the game, like really in the game, were probably Jordan 13s and it, I think it was a flint colorway. And I actually, I, this is when I started like liking sneakers more and more. I went into this Facebook group called Souls and Hoes, which is like locally around South Florida. And somebody was selling them for I think a hundred bucks and all I had at the moment was 90 bucks. And that's when I was like, all right, let me go ahead and try to finesse this guy $90 because that's all I got. And he, he agreed on 90 bucks. We met up somewhere. I went on my bike to go meet him by his house, I think it was. And I gave him the 90 bucks. He gave me the shoes. Whether they were real or not, I have no clue. I did not know a thing about fakes at the moment. And that's actually the same day I read about fakes. After I bought the shoes, I'm like, oh, damn, could these be fake? I didn't know. So, yeah, that's how I got them. And the last question from him also is... What's your favorite sport? I would have to say my favorite sport is basketball because I love playing it now, but I have, I've always had a passion for baseball. So yeah, I guess you can say my favorite sport is basketball at the moment, but I still like baseball, football, soccer, and I don't really like watching it. I'll play it once in a while, but my favorite sports in order, basketball, baseball, football, and then soccer, and then I guess hockey. Hockey's pretty cool too, actually. I think I like hockey more than soccer because it's more aggressive and it's more intense. Anyways, that's all the questions for the Q&A. Eventually in the future, I will do another one, but this will be a while from now, so just stay tuned for that, I guess. Before I go, I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day, and today's fan of the day is Felix Saavedra. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so I can give away the pair of Yeezys. Make sure you stay woke. Arsenic sign out. Alcatraz. Peace.